every day we produce tons of content and this content is stored on external storage drives usb drives and cloud storage solutions but is your data secure does a third party have access to your data if these are your fears we have the perfect solution for you Hey guys, this is Chris from Gadget Voice and today we have a solution for you. It's called a NAS drive. A NAS drive is a network attached storage drive which is a cross between a local hard disk and a cloud service. So you get the benefits of both the worlds. We have the Synology DS918 Plus which is a NAS drive. We're going to unbox the device and show you how to set it up. So let's open up this box and see what's inside. So upon opening the box, uh, you can see over here, we have uh, the power adapter, a cable. There's another box within the main box and uh, this contains uh, the power brick, the power adapter. You've got uh, the quick installation guide. You've got the keys to open up the um, the base, the four bays on the Synology NAS drive. You have the, the LAN or the Ethernet cable. And you got some screws to screw the drive inside the base. And we're just removing now the main content of the box which is the NAS drive itself so let me get this box out of the way so this is the NAS drive that comes inside the box it is the DS918 plus and it is a four bay drive let's remove the packaging So that is the NAS drive that comes inside the box. So this is the new Synology Disk Station 918 Plus. It is a scalable NAS for all uh, environments. So basically it can work at, uh, in a home office environment or a home uh, environment as well. It comes with four bays. Uh, it runs on a quad core uh, processor. Uh, it supports M2 NVMe SSD for uh, system caching. And it also supports 4K transcoding. So this is the Synology DS918 Plus. As you can see on the front, there are four drive bays for inserting the drives inside the device. Uh, you have the power button over here, the USB port. There are five LED indicators. One is for the status of the device and there are four different LED lights for four different drives that go inside the box. On the side, you will see the Synology logo, which is uh, which has vents for cooling the system. The same thing can be seen on the other side as well. Uh, at the back of the device, you will see there are two fans, uh, there is the power port, the eSATA port, there are two LAN ports, a USB port and a Kensington lock port. And on the bottom of the device, you will see there are two M2 NVMe ports. This is for inserting the NVMe into the NVMe slot. So this is how you open it up and then insert it into the slot and then you close it up this is used for system caching so now let's insert the drives inside the NAS drive and set it up so as you can see there are four drive bays over here this is how you open them it's pretty simple and easy so now what we're going to do is install the hard drives I have your the drives which are made for NAS drives and this is a two terabyte drive. So we have two, uh, two terabyte drives that you're going to install in, into this. Once you open up the drive bay, as you can see, there are four screws here. This drive bay can take 
3.5 inch uh, hard drives and 2.5 inch hard drives for 3.5 inch you don't require them to secure in place using the screws but for the 2.5 inch drives you need to uh, secure the drives using the screws that come with the box so to install the 3.5 inch you what you need to do is remove this piece there are two pieces on the sides once you have done that install the drive by sliding it in into the drive bay so to secure the drive in the drive bay all you need to do is put this uh, piece back so once we connect this all you need to do is slide it into the device so for testing this uh, ds918 plus we have two drives that we have inserted into uh, the box so we'll now go ahead and set this up to use the disk manager from Synology